Mrs. Frizzle's class went on a field trip into the human body through the digestive system in order to explore the excretory system in more detail. Now they find themselves in the small intestine where nutrients and water are absorbed into the blood through the microvilli that line the walls of the small intestine. The class travels through the circulatory system with the blood through the liver for detoxification, then through the heart and out the aorta, the largest artery in the body, and eventually find themselves in the renal artery leading into the kidney. Then makes its way toward the nephron, the site of filtration, reabsorption, and secretion via many smaller arterioles that extend into the cortex, the thick outer layer of the kidney. The afferent arteriole enters the glomerulus of the nephron, which is surrounded by the glomerular capsule, also known as Bowman's capsule. This is where the largest waste particles are filtered out. This is the first step of filtration. The class finds themselves in the proximal convoluted tubule next, where reabsorption of water ions and all organic nutrients occur. Next is the loop of Henle, which is responsible for the continued reabsorption of water along with sodium and chloride ions. The distal convoluted tubule is where the class finds themselves next. This is where secretion of toxins, ions, acids, and drugs occur. Metabolic waste and excess water collect in the collecting tubules to form urine that goes into the renal pelvis. to the ureter, a tube that carries urine to the urinary bladder. This is where urine is stored until it is excreted through the urethra. Back in the classroom, Mrs. Fresel explains to the class that the ions and water reabsorbed in the nephrons are collected back into the blood vessels that travel out of the kidney by the renal vein. The amount of water reabsorbed is regulated by ADH, a hormone that is secreted by the adrenal gland that is, sits on top of the kidneys. She also explains that the excretion also occurs in other parts of the body, such as the sweat glands, in the skin, and through exhalation of the lungs. Gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue our broadcast of dances. We shall continue now with our piano instruments.